Hey babies, today I'm going to show you guys a crown of success spell. So we're going to start off with cleansing her. I'm using a figure candle of a woman because this spell is being done on a woman. So we're going to cleanse her, remove the energy I pull away from me when I am cleansing. tool. I'm using a pen that y'all see me use all the time. And I am carving into the skull some symbols, sigils, Jupiter, Venus, all types of symbols and sigils, dollar signs, anything that I feel is necessary. Also, I'm going to add the name and birthday of the person that this spell is being done on. And with the dollar signs, because this is a crown of success for money and wealth for her, I'm going to put the dollar signs on her seven times. I'm going to pick different spots on her feet, her hands, her head. It's all over her body. And her name goes on her three times at the top, the middle, and the bottom of the candle. Now I'm grabbing my Lucky Hand Oil. This is a great money and luck oil that I want to add to this crown of success spell the next oil is crown of success oil take a few drops and put that in the palm of my hand as well you want just enough to get the candle nice and saturated rub the oils in between my hands and while I'm doing this I'm speaking what this spell is for so I'm speaking in the person's name and that they will have success in all of their endeavors or whatever specific thing they want to have success in Let me get that oil in every crevice of the candle under the arms face ears feet everything we want the whole candle the wick and all fully saturated in oil you can take any leftovers and if you're not allergic rub it into your own hands and feet now I'm going to get a nice little amount of crown of success powder you don't need that much I kind of go overboard with my powders if you guys want to purchase any you can come to patreon.com forward slash insight by Tesh and we're going to roll our candle in the crown of success powder that I have this powder has everything if you want the recipe there should be a recipe on YouTube but we definitely have it on patreon we have the powder and the oil on patreon if you want to get either one I'll get the excess off of my hands by getting that onto the plate and then we're going to get to the next powder, which is going to be good luck powder. Get a nice little amount of good luck powder on there as well. Again, you don't need that much, but I like to have a, month, a lot because I just put a lot on mine. My good luck powder, I've been using that all day too. I, I didn't need to pray over it again, but I, I am. I've been working with these powders all day. Everything that you use, guys, needs to be blessed for the specific reason that you're using it. So don't just throw the powders on there. Everything that I'm using, I have been blessing and praying over all day with separate spells that I have been doing. So this is like my fourth crown of success. These powders are well charged. Please make sure you do that. I also have some cinnamon and powdered sugar that I'm adding to this as well. Now this I will charge and put my energy into real quick. 
and then just get that all over the candle. I'm going to make sure I rub the powders all into the carvings on the candle. That's really what you want. You want the powders into the carvings of your candle and all of those crevices and things. Just rub it in. I like to make a spot where there's not a lot of residue or herbs and put my candle right on there. And there you have it. You have all of the powders nice and stuffed into all of the writing on the candle. And she is perfect for me. <laughs> The last thing I want to do to the candle is add some glitter. When I'm doing Crown of Success work, I like to add glitter. All colors of glitter. You want the, the abundance and the success coming in from all angles. So you want to just put a nice amount of glitter on there. It may not stick as much as you usually would because we have so many powders this time, but it is fine. Still use it. Spirits, my spirits specifically love gold and just anything glittery and sparkly. Now we are clearing our hands, just clearing out any extra debris that is on my hands from the powders. I want to make sure I get that on the plate as much as possible before I grab some dried carnations that I had sitting, waiting to be used. Carnations are going to amplify this spell, like all of the things I'm going to place at her feet. The carnations are going to bring power to this spell. Now we are also adding some frankincense. This is for blessings. Myrrh, same thing, blessings. Good health, good fortune, protection, healing, all of that she is submerged in. We're adding some rose quartz crystals and clear quartz crystals. We have some cyanite hearts and a rose quartz heart, as well as some devil's shoestring. I believe some amethyst is on here. And there you have it. She is beautiful. We're gonna let her charge with my energy, praying exactly what we want into the candle and we are done i would like to thank you guys for joining me today if you have any more questions about anything magical you know where to find me and i will see you guys in the next video bye now